Today I want to talk to you about what is the best martial art, the best, most ultimate martial art that you can do. Is that a trick question? Hell yeah, it's a trick question. What is the best martial art? <laughs> the best martial art is the best martial art for you. The one that fits you. The one that fits your body type. The one that fits your personality. And the one that fits your experiences. So based off of the things that you've accumulated in your life, and also your natural abilities. So some of us are, are long and tall. So some of us might be more geared towards being a good striker. So if I've got that long reach, you know, good striker, right? Some of us may be stronger, shorter, stockier, right? Sounds like your wrestling type personality. Some of us may have attributes uh, that can be done in both arts, you know, so based on not only your body type as far as um, how you were born, but how you develop your body. Like some of us like to lift weights. Some of us do internal work, right? Tai Chi, things like that, standing, breathing deep. So as you cultivate your own art in the way that you choose, you know, it'll kind of help towards developing your, your own personal style. So that's what really we want to get to is having our own personal style. So I can't be exactly like my teachers, nor can my students be exactly like me. So when you talk about style, not only uh, the body type, but think about the things that you like. So if there's a certain technique that you like, obviously you're gonna get good at that technique. So for instance, I like rollbacks. I may love to, to do rollbacks and shoulder strokes, right? I'll even roll you back into a shoulder stroke. Some people may like to do ward off press or, or some people just may like to do kicks. So like I said, whatever you're good at is what you're gonna, is the thing that you practice the most probably and it's probably what you like. So think about um, developing your weaknesses. Think about personality as well. So some of us have uh, young personalities, very outgoing, very strong. Whereas you take somebody who's very mild mannered in nature and they may be good at all the yielding and, and neutralization, but so now they need to work on expressing the power outward, so becoming more young. So knowing yourself is a very important part of the process as well. So knowing what you're naturally um, geared towards. When I think about my experiences, uh, my brother was a wrestler and he's uh, three years older than me. And so he would practice all his wrestling moves on me. So my experience was I was a wrestling dummy. I was always getting slammed, I was always getting taken down. So I was able to feel and experience all of those, all of those uh, various movements and things like that. And so I wrestled uh, in the street, like guys in my neighborhood used to love to wrestle, and I wrestled for high school. So think about somebody who's around somebody who's a striker. They may pick up those skills, or you may not know which martial art you want to choose, but you, you find one that's close to you and maybe it's based on Taekwondo kicks, things like that. So you practice that, you get good at that, it becomes a part of you, and then later on you train a different art, uh, something that you may prefer, uh, maybe a wrestling grappling art, or maybe Tai Chi, something like that. So you still have that Taekwondo background, it's in your body, and then you have a new skill. So everything that you do integrates to become your own personal style. So even though I can try to teach my students everything that I know, their style would be based on their experiences, the things that they like, their body type, and so on and so forth. So because I did, uh, I practiced uh, Wing Chun, Bok Mei, Five Animals Kung Fu, I've done Tai Chi, all of these things make up uh, what I am. So even if I'm doing uh, an art, when it comes to freestyle expression or sparring, those different things are gonna come out of me. So nobody's gonna fight exactly like me, just like I'm not gonna fight exactly like anybody else. And unless I took uh, a student exactly through every single step of my training, well, even then they still probably wouldn't fight exactly like me, because the personality would be different, things like that. So I'm saying this to say that there, there really is no ultimate martial art, there is no best martial art, except for the one that you create. No style beats another style. It depends on the Kung Fu, which means the time and effort. It depends on who has practiced the most in a non-compliance situation in terms of, well, your compliancy is definitely a requisite, a prerequisite. You have to practice in a compliant manner to learn the movements. You have to learn the drills. You have to learn the skills. You have to build up different things. 
but who's taking their training to that level of reality. The closest you can get to reality in the long term, no matter what style you're doing, I think that's going to be the, the ultimate style for you. So that's my talk for today, and I want to thank you for listening, as always, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.